Good morning. My name is Paul Blackmore, and I'm the proprietor owner of Blackmore's Watch and Clock Repair in Frederick, New Brunswick. Uh, if you're looking at the business card, that's my contact info there. Uh, the only thing that's different is I'm no longer open on Saturday mornings, just Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. And so the purpose of this video is I'm going to show whoever needs to see this uh, the correct way to change a battery in a Ronda movement, an RL. Uh, they come in uh, different uh, numbers. There's RL 515s, RL 315s, that's the old number, 715s, and a few others. But they all have the basic same idea. Now, these movements are very prone to be damaged during battery changes. Here are the issues that crop up, and here's how to avoid them. The most common issue is when trying to pull back this little battery retaining arm, slipping off and scoring that uh, coil because it's a very open coil that's very easily damaged. So how you're going to do that is you're just going to, uh, with your tweezers, you don't need to loosen this screw because you can't tighten it tight enough to keep this in place anyway. Uh, you're just going to gently push on that and the battery will just pop out all by itself. Uh, typically, these take a, a, a 371 battery, and uh, uh, some of them are fitted with a thicker version. But now, the second issue to avoid here is, uh, and I see a lot of this, whether it's because of people changing batteries themselves or store staff that just isn't quite up to snuff. But these are things to avoid. First of all, make sure you don't lose this little insulator because if you take that out, you're going to immediately short the battery as soon as it, you put it back in. So that insulator must be in place. There's a little place for it. It's got to remain in the watch. And the second piece of advice, and it's surprising how often I see this, and this is a used movement that's been damaged or uh, whatever, so I'm going to just, some people seem to think that that little negative contact has to be bent up. They presume that that is something that's going to hold the side of the battery, but it's not. This one actually goes underneath the battery, okay? Now, the earliest versions of this move, movement had a big, long, uh, negative contact that stretched clear to the other side. And maybe that's the reason why there's some people that just feel the need. They've got to bend that up. But whatever you do, don't bend that up. Because if you do, uh, the watch won't work. So basically, when you go to put the battery back in, make sure that that negative contact is underneath the battery, okay? And once it's uh, underneath the battery, then you can uh, hook the the edge of the battery safely under this tab here on this side and very gently just put your tweezers in and slide the uh the the retaining clip over now it'll snap back in place right there you see and it's holding the battery in so the battery's not going to fall out now if you over pull that and you torque it sometimes this retaining arm can slip down in here and jam against the little magnetized wheel called a step motor. And that'll also stop the watch. I've seen people metic meticulously take that all the way back to the point where it literally gets a buckle in it. And then uh, when they put it back in, lo and behold, it, it has slipped down here and it will jam that little step motor. So there you have it. Uh, I tried to do this as quickly as I could. Four minutes, I think we'll do it. Uh, but that is uh, an RL, and this particular one is, what's the number in this one? I can't quite see it. A 315. Yeah, that's one of the older ones. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's how to, it's a great movement, this little movement, but very easy to damage. So don't, uh, in short, don't uh, cut the coil when you're changing the battery. Don't lose the insulator. And whatever you do, don't be bending that little negative contact. Don't bend that up in the air because it has to be underneath that battery okay all uh, that's all for this video hopefully that is a help to some people thanks